there ladies and gentlemen welcome to another video here on pasties of skin it's an absolute pleasure to have you thank you very much for joining us today we're here to talk about fantasy star online 2. yeah i've been really excited about playing fantasy star online 2 for six years and i uh, was always hoping that a western release would finally be announced and e3 a couple of years ago like the last year they announced that it was going to be coming to north america in spring of 2020. So that has actually led to us uh, being uh, waiting with bated breath for more news about the release of Fantasy Star Online 2. And uh, essentially there is a account at play underscore PSO2. That is their official uh, support and Twitter follow if you want to go and check it out. Hashtag uh, join arcs <laughs> if you actually want to be following it. They posted out today a announcement that the PSO2 beta is going to be on February 7th. That's it. <laughs> February 7th, one day, a one day beta for an MMO that's been going for six years that has uh, thousands, admittedly, or only tens of thousands maybe, of people waiting to actually play it. But um, that, that, that's a really uh, low expectation, considering the fact they're expecting to release the game uh, spring of this year, so we're chatting in the next couple of months. And they um, announced that their one day beta is going to be on February 7th, which is uh, disappointing for a lot of us that are actually waiting to play the game. But the major deal is that uh, there is always more than one beta. Just before the announcement of the beta, uh, P Play PSO actually went through a number of things. They actually showed uh, three different things that you'll be able to get as uh, like beta bonuses for taking part in the closed beta. And whenever they did three of them, that triggered off a little flag for me and a few other people um, about beta runs where you, you tend to have an closed beta, an open beta, and a technical beta. There's three to actually kind of go through because you want to make sure the hardware kind of can work then you want to make sure it can handle scope and then whenever you handle scope you want to go to see what chaos happens when you open it up to the rest of the world so um i have a feeling that this first beta that they've announced is actually a one day technical it's a technical just to see uh if their their translations and their setups are working okay which shouldn't be a major issue i think this is uh, just so they can stage it and maybe try and control hype a little bit in a few in a few ways uh, people have been asking non-stop when is the beta, when is the beta, when is the beta, when is the beta to the um, PSO team for a while now. And by giving us a date and giving a first day and people being a little bit disappointed, you, you'll really see how many of the hardcore stick around to actually um, enjoy the experience. Personally, I have not touched the Japanese beta until three days, four days ago. <laughs> so four days ago i jumped in and i've been playing it non-stop as you can see here on the channel if you want to go and check out some of the archive streams but the game itself is working perfectly it is translated as best it can be by a bunch of um, modders and community people that have actually been playing the game since its release and the pc version is very very enjoyable the pc uh, japanese servers are immensely playable uh, the only the only awkward thing is having a sega id for japan which i have the release of the beta being on the 7th of February means that the North American audience are going to have a very easy way of getting in. Uh, if you haven't looked at it already, you need to go to the Xbox Insider app on your Xbox and sign up through it if you're in North America. If you're not in North America, there will be a very quick video going up later on in the day in the channel. I might actually just kind of like put an annotation to it somewhere on this video that you can go in and it'll be like, bam, 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 bam. Here's how you do it. There you go. Right there you're in. Right, I'll see you next Friday. And um, that should be all you need to get into the closed beta. There's uh, there's a little trick to it, essentially, if you have if you happen to be from any region outside of North America. The beta itself, uh, the three objects that we're going to get handed, uh, are obviously going to be beta exclusive things. I imagine they probably do event items more than once. But these particular items are going to be doled out by each of the betas that they do and you have to participate in all of them to kind of get all of them which is a very smart move on their part because people's completionism if you have one you want all three so people will actually like dig their dig in and make sure they actually stick around for it the expectations i have is that the technical beta will actually be of limited content they'll just like they'll just not let they'll not open up a massive floodgates of content they'll just kind of go like right, we want you to run these missions over and over again at, at each of these different difficulties and see how much how quickly and how much you do whenever you go through it then we'll go into the closed beta which will probably be maybe a weekend and then an open beta which will be a week a week or two weeks that's that's what that's what i imagine it being in three stages and they'll probably have them separated by a few days in between and most likely have a wipe between this one day and the um and the two day closed and then between the close and the open 
And if they don't even do a close and they just go straight from this one day close to a full open, everybody will be fucking happy anyway. Because the game's getting to the point where we need to actually have it out um, and be playing it and see what they're... What they, they, they say all the content's coming from the Japanese game. But even the Japanese game doesn't really use all of its content anymore, except for like um, the, the emergency events, which I keep exp experiencing new ones every other day. So I don't think we're got a lot to worry about with PSO2 having like a one day beta. But I think it's actually a uh, an intentional kind of like deflation of expectations because people are actually getting ravenous and a little bit rude about it on media, social media. So this actually placates the question when is the beta and then now they can just moan about how little of the beta is and, how, and then now moan about the pc version not being out and then now moan about it not coming to europe and i'm like okay okay just just let the game come out at some point uh this is uh exciting to actually just experience because of the long long wait to have an official release and i'm kind of glad to actually have hyped myself up by playing the japanese servers just in time for the american servers to be finally around so if you all are actually checking it out, I will see you all on the 7th of February. And I will see you all here on the live stream anytime again. Thank you very much for watching. And make sure to check the video for how to get into the actual beta if you don't know how to already. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.